In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how I've used smart notebook software to create common file formats so that resources that I created for this web quest can be used on other IWB boards. However, they can't be used, to the best of my knowledge, on Promethean flip charts. Now on the home page on the website, if you scroll down, Notice here they have smart notebook resources. Throughout the web quest there are notebook resources which I have uploaded as zip files, which means they're compressed files for teachers to download and to use. I use smart because I think it's the best software available. However, I understand that other teachers don't have access to the smart notebook software. So what I've done here is I have created common file formats and uploaded them. So I'll show you, for example, if I go to lesson one. You can see here it says step six, download, download category sort activities below and complete as a class. There is the notebook document there and there is a common file format there. What I'm going to show you is how I exported these as a common file format and then how you can actually import them. So if I just go to my computer, my desktop, um, I've saved them as common file formats, documents. Um, here's one for example, which is a notebook document on the verte vertebrae classification keys that I created. So you can see here are the pages i flip through the pages. These ones don't have any interactive flash files. They uh, merely um, have your objects, your text, and the students are dragging the animals to complete the classification keys. Now, if I wanted to create a common file format, which means that it can be imported by another software application, you go up to File, Export as a common file format and select the file and save. I'm going to select no because I've already saved it. Okay. Um, so what I've done, I've taken this as a dot .notebook and created it as a dot .iwb. Now if I open a new notebook document, And whether you're in your Easy Teach or your other software, it has different applications. I'm not sure how you do it in those. But within Notebook, for example, I'll go to File, Import, and I want to import a common file format. I need to select the drop down menu and common file formats. And you can see here, so that was vertebrae classification keys. And you wait a moment, what it's doing is it's importing the data within the notebook software or your other brand of software, whatever you have. You notice here, during the importation though, it's actually altered the position of the images, the text, and you can see it's not aligned properly throughout. So you might ask what's the advantage. The advantage of this is that if you can use the images, the text and the shape, rather than creating it from scratch, and then it's just a matter of rearranging the different files. I'll show you another example. This one I'm going to get another folder. This one has a flash file in it. If I go to my computer, um, desktop, and I saved it as Now this one here, for example, I'm going to show you is living and non-living sort, which is a notebook document. Now you'll notice this one here has actually a flash animation, which is a feature of Smart. It's called Category Sort. You can edit it, change the labels, add the text, and click OK. Then you can drag the, the words, or there's another another one for images up. You can check. Reset and solve. The next I'm going to do is actually open a notebook document and import this as a common file format. 
So you can see here I have a blank document. I am going to import from the desktop a common file format and again select the drop down menu and that one was called well I think it was living and non-living now you can see here that the flash animation is actually taking its time to load the next page here the images are distort and this flash animation isn't showing up so if I save this I'm going to save it to desktop I'm just going to call it test close the file and then open the file Now you notice here the flash file isn't working correctly. Um, it's flashing across, you haven't got the correct codes, the edit box isn't the same. So basically when it has been exported as a common file format and then imported again, it's lost the data within the individual flash file. This may vary depending on various brands of IWB software. So throughout the web quest you will find, for example, here's lesson 7. So I have the notebook document to download as it's my favourite and then you have the common file format which you can retrieve the images, the text and possibly some of the flash files depending on the software. If you select the home page and if I scroll down here um, there will be a web link in here for the YouTube clip which I'm creating now and then if you click on this link here there is an article which is written by Selena which is fantastic and it looks at cross platform functionality so you can read her article here which is written on the, the different forms of IWB then I've just lost my page let's get it again And on the home page here as well, I've also provided a link just here which is a video tutorial on using the um, IWB files with Easy Teacher Notebook. So if you follow that link, there is a video which Selena has uploaded um, which shows you the different conversions between the notebook and the Easy Teach and the functionality between both. So I hope that makes the website they created more user-friendly um, for a range of teachers using different IWB boards.